Hi there, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to learn about Azure Dedicated Host. When we talk about a dedicated host, a dedicated physical host that can be offered from Microsoft Azure so that you can create a different type of Azure virtual machines, let's say maybe Windows or Linux, all that can be created. So that's what we're going to learn. So, so the Azure virtual machines can be created on a dedicated host. Um, that's nothing but a physical server that can host one or more of uh, your virtual machines and your server is completely dedicated to your company and it's not going to shade and whatever the virtual machines you are going to create that is completely isolated uh, because it's going to be a purely a dedicated physical box and the capacity is not shared with any of other customers and this host level isolation helps addressing compliance requirement let's see if I talk about the compliance maybe you might have have a compliance uh, standard that your company might be storing health information information or top secret government data or maybe uh, some other information that n must not be shared with any other infrastructure in that situation you are going to actually use the dedicated host and the pricing is completely different uh, for this dedicated host because on top of your physical service you're going to actually create your own a virtual machine so let's see what are the components that we have uh, when we try to create the dedicated host so we have three different things we need to know then the first thing would be the dedicated host which we talked already it's like a physical server which is going to be you know provisioned within the Azure data center for you so that you can create on top of this host a number of virtual machines so when we talk about the virtual machines, these virtual machines can be deployed on your dedicated host and last one would be the host group so host group is nothing but you are actually when you create a grouping it will be used a kind of you know logical grouping um, and it will help you in terms of the region and their availability control can be uh, done with the help of the host group so when you create the dedicated host you have to actually first create the uh, logical grouping of uh, something called you know host group so we're going to uh, do that all within the demo of this lecture but let's understand what exactly the dedicated host how it looks like the architecture let's say you have the azure data center here and on top of it you might be you know getting a physical server or within this physical server you can spin up as many as virtual machines that are depends on the capacity of your physical server and if you have more than one or two definitely you can group them and you can tie that entire group with something called a host group and why we do this is so that uh, when we do the host group maybe let's say you're creating in an east us location you are, are dedicating in that location for that specific region so it's a grouping of logical let's say your business application you want to you know define some kind of you know logic group to stick to some region then you're gonna definitely have to have something a logical grouping so that's where the host group would be used so if you think about what's the major difference with the, with the normal azure data center uh, virtual machines or uh, azure vms with this host dedicated so within the azure data center you have actually a shared virtual uh, infrastructure or the physical infrastructure would be say shared let's say uh, this is a physical server of a great capacity physical server on top of it maybe you are getting the first virtual machine here but some other customer might be you know spinning up and creating another VM so because you are actually sharing the physical server infrastructure but where is it dedicated it's physical server itself a dedicated for you no matter whether you are gonna spin off or the capacity maybe this physical server capacity can be spin up maybe 10 VMs let's say and you spin up only five it doesn't matter it's gonna you know uh, charge for you the based on the physical capacity definitely because it's going to be dedicated host for you whereas here you are actually charged for the VM capacity that is also if it is delocated de you're not going to charge except the storage but here uh, within the dedicated you're going to actually charged for the dedicated infrastructure because uh, you are actually taking everything as a dedicated in this dedicated uh, 
scenario. So that's all about the dedicated let's jump into the quick demo to demonstrate how to create and then then also we can check out the pricing also. So first we will uh, go with the pricing. If you see here this is a pricing of your dedicated. So within this dedicated pricing uh, page you can actually choose whether you wanna go for what kind of the pricing. Let's say I want to go for USD. So when you create any of the virtual dedicated dedicated host you have to choose what type of the physical server you're gonna choose let's say you remember that you know when we talked about creation of the virtual machine we used to use the ds4 ds3 a kind of you know vm host series right similar thing here you need to you know uh, choose what kind of a physical server that's you're gonna you know used that's nothing but a dedicated host so based on that the pricing depends if you see here within this pricing calculator you see here dsv3 type 2 is gonna you know charge you anything from 1000 200 bucks per month and again here this is for the three years reserved and if you go for pay as you go model it's going to charge you 3000 plus and uh, the number of um, available c cpus and the available ram you're going to you know list it and based on that you're going to you know take that specific dedicated machine to create dedicated machines you can actually search from the computing or you can type as a dedicated then you'd be getting from the marketplace a dedicated host so when you click on that this is a visit you're gonna get it so in my case I have currently the limitation of the pricing uh, so I cannot demonstrate full demo but I'm gonna actually give you a deep drive of 45 minutes uh, complete video directly from Microsoft and uh, just check out that video uh, which was uh, available within this lecture in the resource section. Thank you for watching this. Uh, this is the video which I'm talking about. Uh, you can check out this specific lecture uh, and we can uh, go through this uh, lecture. Thank you.